Welcome back to Wings Motor Co. Today we are in Cleveland for fuel. Stick around. So here we are, Fuel Cleveland, at this beautiful place called Hell Farms, and an immaculate place to have an awesome motorcycle show. I brought something special with me, guys. You guys thought this was gone. Well, we're still uh, trying to work out the logistics of shipping and getting this thing shipped out to where it belongs. But I decided to bring it here because it's a cool opportunity to ride old motorcycles around in an awesome environment. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the Rainmaker out for a little ride. Maybe we'll let a couple other friends ride the thing. But there are so many people, so many motorcycles. Such a cool event. Let's go check that out before we take this for a ride. Ah, Michael. Jared. So, Weems Motor Co. YouTube channel is all about motorcycle content, right? Uh, yes, 99% of it. 99%. Yeah. The rest is family and fun. But yep. Fuel Cleveland has a special feature this year. Yes. And I really that dig it. So yeah. Awesome. Let's check out the new feature at Fuel Cleveland this year. Check it out. you but I think vans from the 60s and 70s are about the coolest four-wheel uh, automobiles on the road yep if you guys have a cool picture of a van or you had an old van something that your parents drove you around in when you were a little kid tell us about it jump down in the comments and let us know what kind of vans you like I'm standing in a field. These are all ride-in motorcycles. And we're talking old pan heads, old flatheads, old Indian chiefs. And these guys all rode these motorcycles here today. That is awesome. That is super cool to see these old motorcycles surrounded by new motorcycles all being used for what they're designed to do. And that is to be ridden. That's why we're gonna go ride the Rainmaker because that bike deserves to be ridden. Pre-unit Triumph 
road into the field, and then the rider is right here. So what's your name, man? Uh, Chris. Chris. Yes. So I don't know if you watch the Weems Motor Co. channel. No, I can't say I do, but. Well, I guarantee you're going to watch it now because yeah, you're going to be so. on the channel. <laughs> uh, you rode in on that amazing pre-unit. What is that, a 56? 56, yes. That's funny. I have a 1956 in the show right now, so. It looked a little different. I went and saw it. It's, it's probably <laughs> probably not as comfortable it's to ride. Pretty advanced looking out over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I would have to say the purest in me. I love uh, I love your bike. It's Thank amazing. You. I love that you've actually ridden it to the show. Yes, uh, if I were a judge, you would uh, be like Marlon Brando in the Wild One. We'd strap a trophy <laughs> right on the front and uh, let you walk away with all of the winnings because triumphs always win. So what's your opinions of Harley Davidson's? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think they got their place too, but I'm obviously partial to my triumphs. So. They, they have their place. They do. And they usually do. that's on a motorcycle lift being worked on. <laughs> um, we love them anyway. We, we love do. them anyway. Um, God bless them. They're just tired old motorcycles. <laughs> Uh, they're just not as cool as the Triumph. So, wonderful meeting you, sir. Yeah, good meeting Thank you, you for bringing the bike out. Thank you. We're going to go look around for some more cool Triumphs. Yeah. Enjoy the show. There you go. You said it. Enjoy the show. Are you kidding me? Man, I need to move to Ohio, I think. These people ride way cooler motorcycles up here than most shows I've been to. These guys are actually riding them in. Speaking of BSA, check this thing out. Find the owner. We'll, we'll the take owner, this thing for a key. Okay. <laughs> nice. It probably doesn't have a key on it. It's probably just magneto driven. Turn the switch and you go for a ride. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's an amazing motorcycle. It is beautiful, isn't it? Speaking of triumphs, got a couple more right here. Two sweet little unit Triumph 500s. What other bikes can we find? What do you know? Another Triumph. This one being a 1971 or later hard-tailed oil in frame Triumph bobber. Super cool. I think there's been more Triumphs in the parking lot that I've seen at most shows all together and these guys rode the bikes in. So cool. Yeah, these guys in Ohio know how to do it. I think uh, I've been inspired. Oh, look, another Triumph over there. Let's go get it. So I was wrong, it was a BSA, but holy crap, seriously? The amount of cool motorcycles that are here is mind boggling. A Triumph Chopper in the wild, and not only that, but ridden by one of the coolest chicks in the whole world. Are you kidding me right now? So we actually ran into her last night 
at the pre-party in Cleveland. Amazing time. And she told me all about this amazing Triumph Chopper. Thank you guys for riding out. How was it? How was the ride? Uh, it was a good ride. Not too bad. Weather was great. Can't really complain. Bikes running well? Bike ran great. Dude, there are so many Triumphs that people have rode in I here. I saw a Triumph Chopper leaving some soup, some old guy was on it. Uh, I tried to be like, yeah, Triumph, but he didn't see me. Well, we're going to go jump on our 1952 Triumph Thunderbird. Ooh. And uh, if you want to ride it, stop by my booth. I'll let you take it for a little spin <laughs> up the road. It'll Maybe. be super cool. Yeah. yeah. It'll it's be awesome. crazy. There's so many bikes here. I wasn't expecting so much, but... And there's so there's much so more much inside. Do. So, hey, right. if people want to check out all the cool stuff that you do have, you like an Instagram? Uh, yeah, it's mental underscore scab. There you go. Check her out. Check out the cool Triumphs. It's going to be an awesome time. Let's go check out some more motorcycles. Thank you, Amanda. You're welcome, Jared. I said it. I'm doing it. Riding the Rainmaker. Let's go take her for a little ride. Wow. <laughs> so it's an alcohol fueled, mechanically fuel injected, supercharged 1956 Triumph per unit. Jesus, man. <laughs> what an incredible amount of work. I, uh, I, th I think I did too much on it, do you? <laughs> Emma? Yes. You guys probably haven't met her. She might have been on the channel once, I think. This is my niece. A lot of motorcycles, right? Oh yeah. I don't know if we can uh, show everything in one video. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. And uh, we need to find some food. And I need to go pee pee. Nice. So let's, let's go. go do that. <laughs> we'll find out what's going on right here at Weems Motor Co. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, dude? How what's are we doing? going on is none other than the world famous Instagram superhero and now YouTube extraordinaire, Mr. Chicken Rick. Why are you saying all that stuff about me, man? None of that's true. That is absolutely I'm more true. I'm just a regular guy. I'm here incognito. That's like, I got my <laughs> gas station shirt on. <laughs> and I'm still talking to everybody. Listen, listen I, I was saying it earlier. So, uh, us YouTubers, yeah. we are definitely different types of people. We're kind of drawn together because of motorcycles. Oh yeah. But we we have this weird thing about other YouTubers of like who we decide we want to watch. Yeah. And when he launched his YouTube channel, I was sold because <laughs> just the approach was like so different than everybody else. But it's also 100% what you are and what you do. Oh yeah, I appreciate it, man. I'm a weird dude, if you couldn't tell by the way I look right now. And you know, the the page is just that. You know, like we're having fun. Me and my girl make them together. We're laughing. And oh yeah. She's uh, making fun of me the whole time, which make, gives her some good material. So it's perfect, man. Uh, so if you guys aren't checking out chicken fried choppers, yeah, and what they're doing on YouTube, you got to jump over there. Let's see, let's, let's put the link up top this time. Over here somewhere? Up, 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 up or, here? Up around. Or over here. I like over there. We, we got arms, we can put we, it anywhere. There, here, hold your arms up. We'll put it right between your arms. There you go. There you right go. Right there, it's kind of a big name. Go, go, to that, go to that YouTube channel, check it out. Uh, it's going to be a refreshing breath of air. I don't know if it's gonna be refreshing. You might end up a little bit frazzled by the end, but. My, my wife that's how we are right now i promise you that it's a little it's a little warm here in ohio it we're is. having a great day a lot of good bikes a lot of good people that's what it's all about man so what's your favorite motorcycle out here oh man that's a hard uh, hard choice 
You got Detroit Randy Howard's electric uh, Henderson over here. You yeah. got Tony Provenzano's uh, gigantic pan head long bike chopper right here that's seen all the interstates in Pennsylvania in uh, Pittsburgh, which if you've ever been to Pittsburgh, you don't want to go to Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a truly amazing thing that this bike's still upright. So it's, there's a lot of cool ones here. There is so much. So my my personal favorite uh -huh. is Emmy Cups. Okay. The the dream sickle, the little oh, orange, yeah. little orange like Honda 110 motor, uh -huh. super cool bike. The dream sickle, that's I, awesome. I think she, I don't want to say it wrong, but I think she's 15 years old. Oh man! And doing an amazing little chopper out of that, and I was like, that's the coolest thing here. So the, the great thing about fuel is you have a Harley next to a Triumph, next to a Honda next to an Indian, next to a Henderson, next to a BMW, you oh, have it all. everything under the sun. You got a, a Kawasaki uh, triple right there, a uh, land speed bike that the dude, I was just talking to him, he kicked that bike over at the start line for um, Bonneville Speed Week. He had a heart attack right there on the spot when he kicked it over. They got him in a, a helicopter and medevaced him out. They did the bypass surgery the next day. He's got the bike back and he's going back for the title. He's still getting after it. So. That, that's awesome. You love man. to see it. Yeah, it's all about the motorcycles of people. Oh, yeah. Mr. Rick, thank hey, you, sir. Great seeing you. Check him out, follow his YouTube. Give him a follow, guys. Let's check out more motorcycles. Fuel Cleveland do they have weddings and the bride and groom want to take a picture on a chopper. How cool is that? a bottle of some uh, American metal bourbon and I run into old friends people who have been on the YouTube channel before this is our friend Ricky from Anchor Moto Kansas City brought this amazing shovel head thank you what, what can you say about it man tell me something there, about the motorcycle about the bike there isn't a single piece on it that I did with basically Okay. So, lots of stock Harley parts just reworked and mangled and shortened and lengthened and flattened and but really I did mostly original Harley stuff. I love Shorten it. the swing arm almost an inch, 19 inch ah, wheel to make that's... it it's it's sportster wheelbase. This is my like my version of a yeah. shovel head would be sportster wheelbase. Very so, cool. That's what I kept looking at it all day long and I was yeah, like I was like tough. something's yeah. different about this thing and I'm like let I me try to figure four, it out. Four under tubes shorten a set of like aftermarket shrouds okay actually had to shorten them and move the holes and everything to get uh, line up to a big twin okay and then just had some 3.5s laying around i used the old 60s iron head rear fender that's what it's uh, from i was i was like is that a dyna fender I was uh, like, it's a old iron head and i shortened the strut got shortened and narrowed and then narrowed the oil bag three quarters of an inch the oil bag <laughs> on the inside of the frame rails well, yeah, yeah, because I mean, just you, made it squish it together. Everything small, because I like small bikes. That's it. We ride and Triumphs. So. That's it. That's it. And and I love that you brought the shovel head out because uh, my passion in Harley Davidsons falls within the shovel head family. So yeah, yeah. look great looking bike. Well, thank you uh, talking to us about it. Make sure you guys go check them out. Anchor Moto in Kansas City. Proper downtown. Downtown. And if you if you need that coffee. They're going to hook you up. Blip is going to help you out with some coffee. So definitely check them out, guys. We're about to wrap this thing up. So let's go check out a couple more motorcycles. All right, guys. Well, that's about going to wrap it up here at Fuel Cleveland. Amazing time, amazing motorcycles. So much diversity, so many cool people. But I wanted to say thank you guys for hanging out for this video. 
If you're new around here, jump down, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up, turn those notifications on, and let everyone know what's going on right here at Wayne's Motor Co. Peace.